My husband and I got married very shortly after college, and we were married for five years, and then we found out that we were going to be having a baby. About six months into my pregnancy, I started noticing that Mike was acting strange. He became really socially withdrawn. I started getting phone calls from his friends asking if he was mad at them. And by the time Noel was six months old, I felt that I couldn't leave Mike alone with him. I started taking him to the doctor, and I said to the doctor, my husband is acting so weird. Does he have a brain tumor? And she was the first of eight medical and mental health professionals to tell me that he had depression. It wasn't until I brought him to Boston that Mike received his diagnosis of frontal temporal degeneration. And that led me to join the Boston area FTD support group. And then I kept hearing Dr. Dickerson's name over and over again that if your loved one had FTD, you needed to be at MGH. Frontotemporal dementia is one of a family of neurodegenerative diseases that gradually cause certain parts of the brain not to function as well as they used to. Sometimes people have personality changes and it often looks like a psychiatric illness may present, but then the person keeps getting worse, often despite treatment. It has a terminal prognosis, but in a way it was a relief to know that my husband wasn't choosing his behaviors. He wasn't choosing to isolate himself from us. The Neuro Rehab Center at Middleborough provided him with 24-hour care for the last two years of his life. And what was wonderful is that the physician on staff there could consult with Dr. Dickerson. I remember sitting with Mike during one of the last days of his life and talking to Dr. Dickerson for a half an hour on the phone and he just really reassured me that I was doing everything I could for him. He was very compassionate. Very early on, I knew that I didn't want Mike's disease to be the end of his life, to be the end of our story. I was interested in donating his brain, and I was committed to that. We learn a tremendous amount when people uh, make the ultimate donation of their brain to the hospital. We have a very large brain bank that does a pathologic autopsy diagnosis of the condition that was affecting the patient. We do our best to sit down with each family and explain to them what we think we learned from it. Finding out that what I thought he had was what he did have was comforting because that meant that I didn't leave any stone unturned. I brought him to the best place I could and he received the best care. The second major thing that we do is research. Our family was able to give a gift so that they could learn something about FTD and maybe in the future another family won't have to wait until their loved one has died to find out that they have it. Mm -hmm.